Do you know the way, my brother? You need Ebola to know the way. That f***ing meme is stuck in my head so bad. Please tell me you guys have seen the Ugandan Knuckles meme on VR chat. If you haven't seen that meme, go see it now. Yes, I do. do you know the way? I know the way. You have to have Ebola to know the way. I'm not even trying to explain it to you. Just look up Ugandan Knuckles meme. All right, guys, welcome back. I haven't recorded in a minute. I'm excited to be back. I just moved around the entire setup. As you can see, like right behind me, that poster is sick, by the way. That thing is sick. I got two lions in here. I got Barry Sanders lion. I got the real acrylic lion. Also, my dick fell off. So, we are on Wheel of the Jeez. We're on like episode 20. I think at the end of this round, we prestige. At the end of this match, we prestige. So, we got the team all the way up to an 87. We have some wicked adjustments we made to this one. We actually got people on the offensive line. We got Dwight Clark. We got a ton of wide receivers. Uh, quarterback halfback is set. And then defense, as always, keeps getting better. Vic Beasley has added. Derek Brooks. Randy Moss. Bashad Breland and the D-Tackle. So as of right now, I'm going to have two prestige points at the end of this round no matter what. If I win this game, I get a third prestige point. If you don't know what prestiges are, prestiges are the players we get to keep. Everybody else we have to wipe from the team. I think I'm going, and you guys all said I could do this. I asked for your permission. I can. I'm going to prestige Randy Moss because it will let me have the 94 overall Randy Moss when I add that to the team. So that's really, really... Secondly, I kind of want to prestige... Ah... Then it's like, do I prestige Dwight Clark? Because he's really not that good at tight end. He's okay. Or I can prestige Derrick Brooks and get the linebacker Derrick Brooks. And that Derrick Brooks is really, really good. So I think that Derrick Brooks and Randy Moss are my prestige right now. And if I get a third one, I'll have to like do some... Oh, shoot. And I have Ed Tudal Jones. I totally forgot about this. 95 overall. And I don't know if I want to get rid of that. Because he's been playing really good. Now, I also did a whole lot of adding to the wheel, making it super, super good. So, I mean, we're, we're like already through Christmas, so I can start making the wheel pretty awesome. We've had how many months of mutt already? August, September, October, November, December, right? Pretty much all this. That's like five months. That's a, We're halfway through, more or less. Let's get our first wheel spin out of the way. You should know how it works. This wheel spin will determine the player we add to the team, and it looks like it's going to be Calvin Johnson. Please keep moving. Oh, my God. Gosh, damn it. I wanted Calvin Johnson. If I get that Calvin Johnson one, I can take any Calvin Johnson card I want. I can either get the strong safety or the wide receiver. I'm so sad. But I did save this, and I made sure this was a wheel spin because I have this really cool pack from the Ultimate Freeze gift promo, and I saved it. It's an elite fantasy pack from Most Feared. So I think it's going to give me a bunch of choices out of, like, Most Feared players, and I get to choose one of that I want. So I'm going to do that. That's actually kind of cool. So I can pick any one of these players, Tariq Cohen, is our first option, Anthony Brown. Oh, please give me like a 90. I don't want all the 85s. Don't do this. Oh my God. Evan, Evan Engram is actually super good. I actually will totally take him. Except I already have Dwight Clark. Okay, this actually, this actually is kind of a tough decision now. What do I want? Evan Engram is really good. Like, that's such a good tight end card. He's faster than Dwight Clark. And the other thing is a lot of the sets that I use use two tight ends. So I'm going to take Evan Engram because that's a really, really good card. I'm actually going to take Marshawn Lattimore because he's such a beast. And that cornerback card is really, really good. So I'm going to put both these guys on the lineup and we'll see what it looks like. But first, I have one more wheel spin. So I can take that off the wheel now. Make sure I do that after. We get one more wheel spin before we hop into this very important prestige game and it's gonna be the oh my god did i really just wow i just knocked out both of the presents in one episode we just did the most feared fantasy pack and now we're getting rid of the harvest elite fantasy pack that was actually kind of cool i don't know how that happened they were on opposite sides of the wheel but i'll take it so i get to take two players from the harvest fantasy pack we just added a bunch of promo players pierre garçon levante david he's so good Hargrave to hear Whitehead, an 89. I want Deion Jones. Where's the Deion Jones middle linebacker? Oh, wait, do I even need him? I probably don't need the Deion Jones now that I think about it. I think I'd still take him, but I don't need him. Yeah, there he is. Okay, so Deion Jones is. I think this just gives you all the base 89s. I don't even know if I prestige any of these guys, honestly. So I'm just going to get some filler guys. Um, I don't have a right tackle, and I need another D tackle. So I'm going to take them both. And that's actually really. I forgot I had Bashad Breland. So I don't think it's going to be idea, a good idea to put in Marshawn. Marshawn has more speed, 
But everything else, he's worse than Bashar Breland. So I'm gonna keep Bashar Breland in. I guess Marshawn Lattimore is just kind of a random pickup. So statistically, I'm pretty sure that Dwight Clark is a little bit better than Evan Ingram, other than in the blocking game. But I really like the Evan Ingram card, so I'm gonna keep him as my starting tight end. Look at what that did to the team. We're an 88 overall. Now, we're not gonna be even close to that after I prestige, but we have a lot of decisions to make. This offensive line is the best it has ever looked. And after I prestige, those will literally probably all be silvers. Because I don't think I prestige any of these players. So what's on the line here? All those players we just got are on the line. And a prestige point is on the line in this game. So if I can win this game, I get an additional prestige point. We prestige three players. Happens oh my god, I forgot. I totally forgot before I recorded this. I am on to the Super Bowl. We are playing in the Super Bowl for this match. I was playing seasons earlier. I realized as I was recording, I was like, holy shit, I'm actually in the playoffs. This is the Super Bowl. So, honestly, don't be surprised if the guys we're playing are using super cheesy, annoying plays. That's kind of how it goes in this. But we have to take a dub for the prestige point, and it's a Super Bowl. There's a lot on the line here. <laughs> yep, yep, no, I can't miss this. Okay, he has a snow beast, a, a decent snow beast team. I'll take this. This works for me. We have a god. Look at our dude. Let's do this. We got to hit a dot. Hit a laser right there. X, hill. Oh, I need a yard. Oh, no. Fourth and... One. This is my only silver player left on the lineup is this fullback. And nope. we need a yard from him. And I got I got instantly blocked, Shed. You're kidding. That was so lame. Is he going to run out of that formation? Nope. It's the same thing. I got the stuff. Oh, I thought I had the stuff over the middle. Of this. What the? Hey, actually, you know what? On the bright side, missed the PAT. And that is crucial in a game like this. So we're good. Oh, I think RB is going to be open here. Oh, he was so open. Oh, my gosh. I, mm. All right, why might be open. Where are you throwing that ball? What are you doing This is my 94 overall QB, bro. Cordero is who I think is going to be open on this. So we are going to look for him. Right there, maybe? Ah, and he got the spot. Hit the ball again. Dang, dude. Second and nine, and he's back into slants. I literally know exactly what he's doing. Oh, my God, dude. How can I know exactly what he's doing and he can still get all these yards on it? Slants. Slants. Oh my god, dude! Same thing. He's just running the same thing. He's gonna run it one more time. This time we're gonna clog it up. Fourth and three. Let's see what he goes with. Come on. Come on, Randy. Oh, and he shanked it. Let's go. If I got a fing rough in the kicker. This game's so fucking. Except this time he's gonna scramble it and throw it at the end. No, he's gonna run. Fourth and three. Let's see if he takes his field goal again and shanks it again. I'd be I'd be impressed. I, I don't see how he could possibly shank this. All right, I was right. He can't shank that. Off, and there's Barry Sanders. Dude, you gotta make Mission a failed. Right. We'll get him oh, next time. That was a nasty. <laughs> he dove so far away from that. That was great. I love that. Looks like Barry's open and B is open. I'm going to hit Barry. Why is my... My teammate just played defense on the ball. Barry was about to get about a five-yard gain. Let's get that. Let's get that roll out. Let's get that beautiful roll out for Randall. This might be all the way to the end zone. Oh my God! And he's on the one. Randall, you bum! You just had to reach your arm out. And let's just snap the ball and get this up. Bang! There's the Randall playing game touchdown. Okay, so I know what he's doing on defense. He refuses to get off his D lineman, so I can easily get yards on both of those plays every single time. Now we just gotta lock up his slants, and I can win this game. 7-0 to too, which is nice, because the field goal is going to put me up by one. Skinny pose. Same play. Right here. Oh, throw it. Throw it. Right here. I knew you. Oh, my Shazir, bro. I literally mirrored. I called the play out first. Skinny pose. Then I mirrored it. And then he dropped it. Why? Jarek McKinnon's back there. I want Barry Sanders, but whatever. We'll take what we can get. Give me a good block here. Let's juke one guy out. Oh. Oh, whoa. I'm rolling the wrong way. This is not the way I want to be rolling, but we can playmaker this. Playmaker it, Dwight Clark, he's got it. Beast. I almost want to hit Tyree. Tyree, Tyree kills open. He's open. Go get it, Tyree. And that's a touchdown. 14 and 9. I knew he was in. He was in press coverage over there. It was just a matter of if Tyree could beat him, and he did. That Tyree kill has so many touchdowns. And boom, 14 to 9. This game's going to be a blowout. Super Bowl. I'm about to have a ring right here, boys. It's about to be a fat, virtual, juicy Madden. Super Bowl ring on that finger. I'm not. Oh wow, it's his ball at the half too. But I'm not scared of this guy anymore, dude. Right here, right here. Come on, throw it, throw it. Oh my gosh! Come on, I told you you're playing a dangerous game. You're just gonna hand me a gimme one of these times. 
Oh, he doesn't, but look at Cordero. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Don't look. Don't look. Nobody look at Cordero. I swear to God, I do this every single time That's I get so good to have Barry Sanders. We know this is slants. I've seen this play before. Oh, and let's go. He jumped it. Who is this? Is this Malcolm Smith again? This guy is relentless. I got a showboat all the way in. I don't care if I fumble. I could easily fumble that. I don't care. I had to do that right there. Okay. Another play action! I really thought he was running slants there, and that's why we sent that blitz and two tall jumps. We got some deep stuff coming. Oh, and let's go! We got another fumble! That's a fourth and 21. He's, this is what I, is going to happen here. He's going to go for it. He's going to not get it. He's going to quit. All right, boys. Here it is. He's going to throw right here. Ooh, he's throwing to the single coverage. I like it. And now that he didn't get it, I'm telling you he's going to quit. Maybe I'm not the prophet. I am the prophet, I told you. I told you this was going to happen. How are you gonna quit the Super Bowl, bro? This guy's like the Falcons. As soon as they get they get comfy, they just lie down and quit. Pierce conceded the game. I'm about to get my Super Bowl rewards. I think you just get a bunch of badges. You don't even get that much cool stuff. Like 10,000 coins or something. Which is super lame. Because I put in like 12 games of hard work into this. I'm about to get like nothing for this. What do I actually get for winning the Super Bowl? Okay, 1,000 for that objective. 150 for winning a game. Does that count for anything? 7,000 coins and I think I get eight badges. Super lame. All right, boys. That was a beautiful game of Wheel of Mutt. We keep the players we got, except if we don't prestige them, we actually don't keep them. They just go right back into the pit of misery. Dilly dilly. Let's talk about this first. The things that are locked into the lineup, the things that you will see no matter what next game, is Barry Sanders, Randall Cunningham, Tyree Kill. Those are my three prestige. Ryan Shazier, Malcolm Smith, Jadavian Clowney, Mel Blunt, and Ronnie Lott. So those are the eight prestige players I have right now. I have three more prestige points. Number one is going to be Randy Moss, which will add me 94 wide receiver Randy Moss. I think after that, it's going to be Derek Brooks. And then third and final will be Ed Tutal Jones. I really can't think of another way to do it. The only other thing I really could do is prestige an offensive lineman, which would be super lame, and I'm just not going to do that. Okay, guys. That's it for that episode of Wheel of Mouth. We won the Super Bowl, which is sick. Drop a like for that. And that's episode number 20. We are pretty, we're pretty balls deep into this series. I love this series, so I'm going to keep doing it. Thanks for watching. As always, that's it for now. Peace out.